In this video, we are going to look at how to create content with PowerPoint. So you will launch the desktop app, and we're going to go into PowerPoint polling. So we're going to go ahead and click Start Now, and this will take just a second to open PowerPoint. Now, I am running this in on a Mac. So this version looks a little bit different on the PC. This turning point bar that floats on a Mac is actually incorporated in a tab panel on the PC, but all the functions are the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started with a presentation. So you can actually open and start with the presentation you've already built. I'm just going to start with the blank one for ease of use here. Now our top polling bar here gives us some different options. The what we're going to focus on right now is this content one on the far left here because this is where we're going to do to actually build our content. So I'm going to go into new and you're going to see that we have a lot of um, question choices here and we're going to actually insert each one of these so that you guys know what they do. We have multiple choice and short answer, numeric, Hotspot, these are the ones that we have in the um, web version and the web desktop version. We also have a word cloud, true false, essay, demographic assignment, priority ranking, Likert, and an icebreaker. Our next question type is a standard Likert. And this goes from strongly agree to strongly disagree. You can type in your question here and it's got all that built into it. So these are just easy ones to be able to um, get some different feedback on. Once again, we have anonymous. You could do multiple responses here for like art. That's not really recommended. We have our polling options. We're going to show after polling. We can say if there's a correct value. In most cases with like arts, you don't have a correct value. You're just using it to gauge whether someone agrees or disagrees with a statement.